How are you? Good morning, students. Welcome you all to our maths class. So, students, in our today's class, we are going to learn a new chapter. That is chapter number two about addiction. Alright? In our previous class, we have completed a chapter number one that is about numbers. So, in chapter one, what we have learned? Yes, the expanded form of four digit numbers, then the place value of four digit numbers, comparing four digit numbers. Then ordering numbers, forming greatest and the smallest numbers, and also about ordinal numbers. Clear? We learn about numbers. Now, in chapter two, we are going to start about addition. Yes. So, what do you mean by addition? To find total or sum by combining two or more numbers. Yes or no? So in our day-to-day -day life, one most common example we use addition is working with money. Clear? So addition we use in our day-to-day -day life. Clear? Now our today's topic, children, addition of two-digit numbers. Yes, today we are going to learn addition of two-digit numbers without regrouping and by regrouping. Clear? So before that, just remember the following points. I'll show you one addition fact here yeah, along with the points which you have to remember. Yeah, children? So children, let me explain this first. Then I'll show you the examples how to be addition of two basic numbers. Right? So children see here, uh, extreme left side, I have written addition fact. Okay. These are we copy addition fact. Addition fact. Alright. So in addition fact, see here. Now with the numbers, we use what? Plus symbol and equal sign. When we add two numbers, we get their sum. So, the answer of addition is called sum. Answer of addition is called sum. S U M sum. Okay. Now, here I have written some points. Just you see one by one. When you change the order, when you change the order of numbers while adding, the sum does not change. When you change the order of numbers, the sum, that means the answer, does not change. So look at this example. Look at this addition fact. First one, 0 plus 10 equal to 0. Second, what do you see? 10 plus 0 equal to 10. Now see here, what I did? I have changed the order of the numbers. First one you see, 0 plus 10 equal to 10. Second addition fact you see, I have changed the order of the numbers. First I have written 10 plus 0 equal to 10. That means what children? When you change the order of the numbers, the sum does not change. That means the answer remains same. This is one of the property of addition. Clear? Next one. When you add 1 to a number, the sum is the number after. When you add 1 to a number, the sum is the number after. Here you see, when you add 1, 9 plus 1 equal to 10. Sum is what? The number after. After 9, it is 10. Okay? So this one, another one. Here? Yeah? Then the last one you see, the sum of zero any number is the same number. The sum of zero and any number, okay? The sum of zero and any number is the same number. Next you will see. First one you see, the sum of zero and any number, zero plus ten is the same number. Answer is the same 10. Yeah? So first one, 
when you change the order of numbers, the sum does not change. That means the answer doesn't change. It will remain same. Second one, when you add 1 to a number, the answer is the number after. Clear? Yeah? Third one, the sum of 0 and any number. See here, this example, 0 plus 10 is the same number. Answer will be the same, sum will be the same number. Alright? I have shown you 0 plus 10, sum is 10. 8 plus 0, sum is 8. So these are the examples this one. 7 plus 0 equal to 7. 6 plus 0 equal to 6. So the sum of 0 and any number is the same number. I'm sorry, we'll get the same. Got it, children? So these are, can you remember this? By doing addition, you should remember this thing. Here I am showing you the addition fact of single digit number. Alright. So for two digit, for three digit, this points will be the same. When you uh, change the order of any two digit numbers also while adding, the sum does not change. The answer remains same. Yeah. And when you add one to any two digit number or three digit number, the sum is the number after. So say for example, I'll give you 34 plus 1 equals 35. 100 plus 1 equals 101. So you will get the number after. And the sum of 0 and any number is the same number. When you add 0 with the 3 digit number, 4 digit number, then the answer will be the same number. Yeah, children? So here I show you the addition fact along with the points. So these are the important points. When you do addition, you should remember these points. Clear? Now next, I will give you, I will show you examples of addition of two digit numbers. By regrouping and without regrouping. Let's start addition without regrouping. Alright, I have taken three examples. Just see how to do. Well, I think we will like always add first from the ones place. Now see here in the ones place, first one five. So, 5 plus 3, it comes how much? 8. So, below the 1 space, we have to write 8. Now, come to 10 space. 2 plus 2 is 4. So, what is the sum? Sum is 48. The answer of addition, we call it what? Sum. And the numbers that are added. And the numbers that are added, that means this part, 25 and 23, these are called add-ins. These are called add-ins. Don't get confused, children. The number, in addition, the numbers that are added, these are called add-ins. The answer which we got after addition, that is called sum. Clear? Yeah? So as this is a two-digit number, it's having ones and tens. Now come to a second example. See the ones place. 7 plus 1, 8. Come to 10 place, 5 plus 2, 7. Alright? So when we add 57 and 21, we get the sum 78. Clear? Yeah? And 57 and 21 are what? Addends. The numbers that are added, we call it what? Addends. And the uh, answer which we get after ready and is called sum. Yeah. Now third one. Two, three, uh, how many times of the two digit number? Three times. So one place you see. Two plus three plus one. So two plus three, five. Five plus one, six. Come to tens place. Three plus three, six. Plus three, nine. So the sum is 96. These are addition without regrouping. Clear? Here yeah, we have not done any carryover. Without regrouping. Okay. Now I will show you examples. Addition with regrouping. Addition of two digit numbers. With regrouping. So children, here I have taken three examples. Here what we are going to do? Addition with regrouping. Alright. 
Now first you will see here, first we will write the numbers one below other as per their place value. Yes, already I have shown you example addition without regrouping. So in both the cases, first we will write number one below other as per their place values. Alright, now uh, see the number one, let me write here A, then B and C. First we will start from one space. Here one space numbers are five plus five. It's ten. Now how much we got in the one space? Ten ones. We got ten ones. So in this case what we are going to do? We will write in the ones place zero. Yes, that means one tens zero ones. Alright, we will write zero in the ones place and one ten we will carry over. Yes, one ten we will carry over. Yes, when you get uh, the sum in the ones place more than nine, then we have to carry over to the ten space. Yes, now you're on. What is the sum? Ten ones we got. So we will write in the ones place zero. And one ten we will carry over in the tenth space. Now six plus two, eight, carry one ten, that's nine. So the sum is ninety. Clear? Yeah? So the sum is how much? Ninety. Next come to B. The carry over part we call it addition weight regrouping. The number P. Number P you see. Once place 8 and 9. We have to add this. 8 plus 9 is 17. That means some, how much we got? 17 ones. So, 17 ones means 1, 10, 7 ones. So, in the ones place we will write 7 and 1, 10 we will carry over to 10 space. So, 7 plus 3. 10, carry 1, 10, 7 plus 3, 10, plus 1, 11. So the sum is 170. Alright? Now number C. See the one's place, is it? 3 plus 9. It's 12. Alright, we got how much? 12 ones. 12 ones is? 1, 10, 2, 1s. So in the 1s place it is more than 10. Yes, more than 10 we got. So what we will do, we will write in the 1s place 2, 1s. And 1, 10 we will carry over in the 10 space. 4 plus 2, 6. Carry 1, 10, 7. So the sum is 72. Clear? So children, this is how... You have to do addition with without regrouping and this particular part is addition with regrouping. Carry over. Yeah. So whenever the digits in the ones place is more than 10 or 10, you have to carry over to 10 space. Alright. So in our today's class, I have shown you addition fact. And then certain points which you have to remember while doing addition. Not only two digit numbers, three digit numbers, four digit numbers will go. Uh, yes, then I will show you uh, addition without regrouping and also addition with regrouping of two digit numbers. Clear yeah, children? So you all can you practice this addition with regrouping and without regrouping. In the next class, I start uh, another topic that is addition of three digit numbers. Okay, so all of you kindly practice this and go to that points, note it down in the math copy. Alright children, thank you.